Hey, Total Gym Team, JD here. Happy New Year. Great exercises. You have to put on a few holiday pounds like I did. The ab crunch. So, I'm going to show you some progressions on here. The first thing about the ab crunch is it's a great place to start by doing a plank. Okay, now, um, I would challenge you to do a plank for a minute, and then in this exercise, if you want to make it easier, you would raise the level. As you get stronger, you'll, you'll lower the level. So it's a great way to, to, to track your progressions. Okay, so holding plank would be a great exercise for your core. But then we can add movement. So my knees are now on the, on the glide board. And I'm going to pull my knees up into my chest. So now, not only are my upper back muscles, mid back muscles, lower back muscles working, now I'm starting to work the good old six pack and the lower abs. Okay? One thing my clients love, if I get, get, them, get them here to train them after a long day of work, is really using whole spine. So looking up at the top of the tower and then pulling all the way in. Extension of the spine feels so good because it covers what we do hundreds of times a day. And then pulling all the way in. Yummy. Okay, now the next progression, really turn up the volume. All I'm going to do is tuck my toes and have my knees float. Woo! Now the cool thing is, you want to work your obliques, you slide your hips to one side, and you can do that with knees down, or again to turn up the volume, the knees are floating. Okay, and then the last progression I'll show you is if you really want to get saucy, <laughs> is to go into a full pike. And again, I like to add that extension. So there are a couple of things to keep your tummy flat, but more importantly, to train your entire core, which will make you more efficient and less injury, injury prone on your, on your spine and your back. Um, for whatever activity you do. So until next time, keep working those abs.